Okay, today we're going to take a look at finding the center and the radius um, for some circles. Um, so I have reviewed here um, just the standard form of a circle. Um, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals the radius squared. All right, when it's in standard form, then finding the radius in the uh, center is not hard at all because we take the opposite of the h value and that becomes our x coordinate of our center. We take the opposite of our k value right there. That becomes our y coordinate for our center, so very, very easy to do. And whatever number is right there, we take the um, square root of it, and then that gives us the radius. All right, however, um, equations will not always be in that form. All right, so as in this one right here, all right, I've got a leading coefficient 2. All right, I've got a coefficient um, also in front of the y squared term. All right, so I'm not exactly in this form. All right, so to be able to use this formula and easily find the center and the radius, you need to see if you can maybe get rid of those. In this one, I can divide through by a 2. It's not going to alter the equation any. It's not going to hurt it. Um, and then I will have the form that I need. All right, so I would divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. You've just got to remember to do it everywhere. All right, 2 and 2 crosses out there, 2 and 2 crosses out there, and 10 divided by 2 is going to give me a 5. So simplifying, I then have x minus 4 quantity squared plus y squared equals 5. All right, now I am in the standard form, so I can real easily find my center and my radius. My center, all right, I'm going to pull out my h term right there, and I've got to remember to do the opposite, so I see a negative 4, so I'm going to pull out a positive 4. All right, this one does not have a k in there. Um, you can think of it as, if you want, y minus, say, a 0, since there is no value there, quantity squared, so you're actually seeing that, okay, so then my um, k value will be a 0, might be a little bit easier to see that, and then uh, radius, all right, you're going to take whatever value is right here, and since that is r squared and we need r, you're going to take the square root of that, which is square root of 5, and I'm just going to leave it like that. No need to find the decimal for that. All right, so you just kind of want to be careful with your circles. Make sure that they are in standard form before you try to pull out an h and k to find your center and your radius. Okay, now let's uh, do another example here. Um, and I think I just am going to erase everything. They might not even give you an equation, all right? They might give you just some information about your circle. All right, so they might tell you that you have a circle with endpoints of a diameter at maybe say um, 1, 4 and negative 3, 2. Maybe they don't even give you the equation of the circle. They just give you some information about the, the circle and then are still wanting you to find the center and the radius. All right, now it's going to be helpful um, if you maybe could take that information, use what you know uh, from geometry and different things, and come up with the standard form of the equation, and I think that's the approach that I want to do. All right, um, let's draw over here um, just a little pretend circle here. All right, um, let's say that my point negative 3, 2 is over here, so we can picture it, and then going through the center there, then this point would be, say, 1, 4. Okay, not really drawing it to scale or anything, but just so that I can see that, all right? So those are the endpoints of the diameter, all right? Now, um, it'd be easy to use the midpoint formula and find the coordinates of that center, and that's going to help me put it in standard form really easy. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I want to find the center and to do that, I am going to use the midpoint formula, okay, which should be reviewed from your Algebra 1 classes. All right, so um, let's do the midpoint here. Okay, midpoint basically says I take the x's, add them up, and divide by 2, all right, for my x coordinate. So um, a 1 plus negative 3 divided by 2 will give me my x coordinate, and a 4 plus 2 divided by 2 will give me my y coordinate. Um, that's going to be a negative 2 over 2, which is a negative 1. And two, uh, 4 plus 2 is going to give me 6. 6 divided by 2 is going to give me a 3. All right, so I have found the center of my circle 
by using formulas that I know, previous knowledge, and coming up with the center of my circle. All right, now, um, now that I know the, the center, I am going to need to do the length of the radius. Lots of different ways to do that. I probably, um, let's just go ahead and run um, distance formula from one of those endpoints to the other. It really doesn't make any difference. Uh, so let's do, say, the distance formula. And let's run it on the center point, negative 1, 3. And let's choose the endpoint 1, 4. It wouldn't make any difference which of those two endpoints that I would choose. All right, so if we remember the distance formula, it's the um, subtracting the x's, quantity squared, plus subtracting the y's, quantity squared. I think I'll go ahead and write that formula out for us. So x sub 1 minus x sub 2, quantity squared, plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2, quantity squared. And then we can't forget the square root over the entire thing. All right, um, just doing a quick review here with this distance formula. If this is my first point, then this would be x sub 1, y sub 1. And if this is my second point, this could be x sub 2, y sub 2. That would make plugging in the values a little bit um, easier there. All right, so let's do a negative 1 minus 1, quantity squared. And then y sub 1 is 3. 3 minus y sub 2 is 4, quantity squared. And I would have the square root of that entire thing right there. All right, um, plus minus there, depending on how you want to do that. So negative 1 plus negative 1 is going to be a negative 2. Negative 2 squared is going to give me a 4. And then doing plus minus 1, uh, plus minus there, negative 1. Negative 1 squared is going to give me a 1. Square root of that, square root of 5. All right, so that is my radius of the circle. Okay, so now using, you know, all previous knowledge, a little midpoint formula, distance formula, I have everything I need. It's asked me to find the center. It's asked me for to find the radius. And I could even go one step farther and actually write the uh, um, equation of this circle in standard form. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, it would be x. Now I've got to take the center and I've got to do the opposite of what I see. So x plus 1 quantity squared plus y. I need to do the opposite of what I see right there. Minus 3 quantity squared equals the radius squared. So square root of 5 squared would be 5. So that is going to be the equation of this circle that had original endpoints on the diameter of 1, 4 and negative 3, 2. All right, so just uh, some um, review on how to manipulate circles and come up with that center and radius.